Well, we're just two days away from Election Day, and THV 11 is your Election Central. And Maya, there are a lot of big decisions Arkansas voters need to make. Yeah, that's right, Brooke. Well, here on THV 11, we've been providing election coverage for quite some time, ensuring our Kansans are aware of the key races and policies that will be present on their ballot. Election day in Arkansas is just two days away, and for many voters, it might be their first time taking a look at this year's ballot, which could be scary at first. THV 11 has been following a number of races and topics you should know. The second congressional district race between Democratic candidate Colonel Marcus Jones and incumbent Republican Congressman French Hill is a race that has caught the attention of many. Both candidates have been quite vocal regarding immigration reform reproductive rights, tariffs, and more. I've been deeply involved in international economic policy and national security policy for the decade I've been in Congress. Safety of Americans and our interest, that has been my entire focus since I was 17 years old. Another race to keep an eye on will be the state Supreme Court Chief Justice between Karen Baker and Rhonda Wood. Looking to replace Chief Justice Dan Kemp, both candidates have the opportunity to make history as Arkansas's first female elected Chief Justice in the state, according to Associated Press. In addition to those races, there are a number of state proposals that have left many Arkansans puzzled. You have probably seen these commercials, sharing messages of the for and against arguments of issue two. Aiming to revoke the Pope County Casino license and change the process a different county would go through to get what could be an available license. Voting for issue two, according to UALR professor of law Joshua Silverstein, means the commission could grant another license, but the community in which the casino will go has to vote in favor of doing it. The against would mean the current constitutional language would stand and Cherokee Nation's plan to build the Legends Resort would proceed. Is local control sufficiently important here to delay for possibly another decade having all of this additional tax revenue for both local and statewide communities? Then there's the Little Rock sales tax, an initiative pushed by Little Rock Mayor Frank Scott Jr. following the four P's, public safety, public infrastructure, parks and recreation, and the port. Voters will see two questions on their ballot, asking voters to approve or deny a permanent 3 8 tax and 5th 8 cent tax. If approved, the city could see a revenue of about $650 million over a 10-year period. To make certain that we're focused on the new economic development model as we focus on quality and place within our city and also do the new things, the fun things to keep our families here in Little Rock 